Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Eras mod. What we've got for us today looks like to be uh, breaking a siege. There's two Prussian full stacks that have moved up to start sieging Dresden, which is a problem. However, our reinforcements is just about around the corner, so I will be able to reinforce this fight quite a bit, so it looks like they might be able to draw in three Prussian full stacks, and I will be able to aid with three French one as of right now. We're gonna hold off on the battle a little bit, so I put it up to a vote, kind of before you guys knew which army was talking about, but it was of course the Polish army, which is now more or less ready to move, it it's technically needs like five people or something to join in to be full strength. 60 something percent, 65 percent voted that the army, the expeditionary army, should go to Crimea. Sometimes I wonder if who votes in this? Is it or is it like does go does that go out to my subscribers, or does it like ra hit random people as well? Um, because I thought I'd put up the vote, and I thought they're obviously going to pick Ireland because that makes sense. Uh, going to um, Crimea doesn't make sense, or the little Tar I should have called it Little Tartary. Maybe when I put it as Crimea, became too topical, and that's why it was picked. Um, there's a number of reasons why Crimea is not, is not a good choice. Uh, first and foremost, the Russians actually do have a navy in the Black Sea. You wouldn't think they did, but um, they have put effort into building a navy to the point where I see Ottoman navies being beaten by them, so the Ottomans aren't even able to control their own waters, which is not great. I'm bringing up a spy, so we can kind of take a look here, and a ship to go through and kind of see what we actually do here, but it seems like it's not even safe right now to go in there, and I would have to redirect one of my larger navies to go ahead and deal with that. Currently what we have here is frigates. And I'm not sure what the Russians have, but as long as they have one of those bigger 72 or 80 gun ship of the line, my frigate's going to stand no chance against that, especially if it's backed up by a number of frigates. So, even though I would want to uh, honor the vote, um, I think the Polish army is actually going to Ireland. Because um, yeah, it's, it's simply not really an option right now to go to Crimea, Little Tartary. So we're going to be heading towards Ireland, the port here, Waterford. Um, I've got two navies now ready, so they're going to go up and we're going to try and see what we got here. So we've got British Navy in there. Waterford is open, there's no garrison in Dublin. The British of course have been throwing army upon army down in Spain and I think we've killed like 10 of them at this point. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and bring up both navies and sit them right here to make sure that if the British want to come out and fight we are ready with all necessary ships to go ahead and deal with that and to uh, at the same time I'm gonna get my carronades to go up and raid British trade here completely cutting them off or at least from the um, Shatnam docks one um, they'll still be able to trade out of the other two ports the one yeah, Liverpool and Bristol they'll still be able to trade out of but these two combined is about 5,000 trade. This one I think was 6,000. So that's kind of a big 
blow to the British. But yeah, the Polish going to be heading there. I've got more navies on the way. It's going to just repair a little bit. But then we'll have more setting up around there. So hopefully we'll keep the British bottled up on this stupid little island. And then uh, fervent revolt within the United Kingdoms. Um, and then as we move forward, we've got armies moving here, of course. Uh, Messina and Orino coming up. It's going to be able to join in here. Hopefully, possibly divert one of them to deal with the Danish. Danish haven't, as of yet, caused major problem. However, they've got one, two, three, um, let's see, four, five, six full stacks on the continent all over the place. And it could be that they try to run through somewhere and cause havoc behind the lines or take out a vassal state or something like that. So they have, if they weren't so disoriented uh, of just going sightseeing through Europe, they could have uh, Sardinia potential. Um, hopefully we'll deal with them before that. It's also good that I'm, I'm starting to actually control the channel and the area around here because it looks like we've got quite a number of fleets carrying troops here coming down so we've got two Swedish one and then one from uh, Kurland and I was a little bit when I saw this one you might have noticed it earlier the Ottomans have put troops on a ship I'm not entirely sure that that one isn't going to my territory or to an allied's territory. Um, because the Ottomans are only at war. Oh, I clicked on the Russians. I was about, what? Are they at war with me? No, they're only at war with the Russians as of now. But I know how the AI works and it's stupid sometimes. So it could very well be going for me instead. And that would not make me a happy camper. Right. Um, I think we're all on the same page in on what's going on here. I should actually move them. I feel like I would accidentally bring the National Guard with me. And then the 12 pounders. Oh yeah, I haven't touched on uh, Spain. The last bit before we go and fight the Prussians. Just before starting this video, I had Grouchy move up and destroy the army that was sieging Madrid. So, currently there's three broken down British armies. And only Gerald Rackham and his army uh, still operational. I want to fight one of the British armies with rockets just to see the spectacle of the rockets. However, at the same time... I am able to... Oh, I have already developed rockets, actually. I am not entirely sure if we can even use... If the um, French can use rockets. Um, potentially, rocket ships might be available to us. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, and I did notice that someone wanted, I think, the Achilles... So we're going to recruit the Achilles, uh, some premium member. So I can't remember who, but I've um, that's coming out. That's coming out. Let's go ahead and see what else is there. I think that should be it. So we will now sally forth out of the castle with Suchet's army against Karl Friedrich Heinrich. Right, so we've got 12,000 Germans against roughly 10,000 French. It's because the Germans, similar to the Prussians, stack their armies with all infantry. Like the first one we're going to meet here is all infantry. Why did everyone have such high accuracy compared to me? 50 for all of them. Anyways, 
time for us to have one hell of a fight. And here's the battlefield. I start with the fort, which I have garrisoned with the Württemberg troops. Uh, they're set up right here along the fort walls, and they will be able to take control of the cannons and start firing them onto the enemy. Um, over on the left, we got Kirkman's gunners and two units of uh, um, grenadiers, of these German grenadiers, which I've set up there. Cavalry in the back. Center is all light infantry, but they're kind of pulled back from the main points here, um, with Kirkman's gunners and the guns over here. And then uh, we've got uh, Napoleon Lesser and Eric over here, supported by Fusilier's Chasseur. And then in the center I've got Fusilier's and the 26th in uh, Grenadiers, I think they are, yes. 26th Grenadiers. And with that, the battle's on the way. It's going to take a while for their infantry to come through, and since we have to defeat 12,000 enemies, I think we'll uh, just allow the batteries to roll on, firing on the enemy, and then uh, we'll join back once they're ready to actually make the assault on the fort. The enemy is just now coming out of the town as they have been gathering the troops quite a bit going through the streets. We've been able to get some pretty good hits here and there on them, um, but they're very much an, in an intact and cohesive force that is still coming on strong. This. Fire from the wall stuff. It really looks like some Star Wars kind of stuff. I don't know what the idea behind it is. Because forts are hard enough to fight as it is. Without, you know, them now all firing some kind of like howitzer shot type deal. God damn it. Did Oh they broke just in time. And they did not scare scare away the horse carriages, which is good. Which means that if I want I can pull the eight pounder back. Okay, they're really closing in now. They've started to trade fire here. I'm gonna order the lights forward and they're gonna be pulled back I'm gonna pull my general back just a little bit I don't trust the guns up on the wall to not be uh, try and come and try and destroy me I think this musketeer might be shooting at Kirkman's gunners he's lost 
one crew. What is the canister range? I'm gonna fire a canister even if it's out of range just because there's so many coming on here. I'm gonna order out cavalry because they are laying some pretty good heat on us here, these two units. And then the troops coming through as well. The light infantry has done pretty well, I think. Did they? They I'm sure they're able to they were able to fire at least once. I'm gonna pull them back. And now we're gonna wheel up these troops right here. Plus the two cavalry needs to come up. The enemy isn't really advancing here close enough for me uh, and we're losing quite a bit of uh, we've lost three soldiers out of the uh, now he's moving forward maybe he will be uh, continuously moving forward here they're not getting close enough for canister range so uh, I think I'm gonna have to pull them back pretty darn soon Ooh, nice. What happened to this one? Must have been like a fort cannon fired through. Completely missed that. You know what? Now they're really close here at the canister range. 200. 100. Shit. Oh, he's even breaking now. He did break. Okay, we're gonna pull uh, two extra troops over to try and plug that. And since this opening has just taken me by a bit of surprise, we're gonna order in cavalry. The general's coming in to try and hold the situation. We're trying to fire a canister that way. Troops are being brought up here. You know what? Hold fire and switch to canister because that unit might walk straight into that. I forgot, as per usual, to actually order in the charge. I'm gonna pull these guys slightly back so that the canister here is able to continuously go through. And then the fusiliers will immediately deploy into line, followed by the grenadiers. And then we have General right behind, ready in support. I usually forget to uh, inspire. I'm going to inspire this one to put as much hurt on that enemy unit as possible. Right now these guys are coming up, cavalry going around. I don't know where the fort cannons are firing now. Good, that was enough to break that one together with a canister. Continuously fire through there. The hussars are about to be able to break there. And they're gonna join in to fire on that. The fusiliers will then advance slightly, repositioning myself in the chair. We've, uh. You know what? Kirkman's gunners can bounce shots through there. That could be pretty good. Right, the cavalry secured the situation long enough. You know, even if you have rallied, I don't need you anymore, so I'm gonna order you to leave. And the cavalry will retire. Okay, turn back the canister. Because you got a unit coming in right ahead of you. Actually, what I'll do is the Grenadier is going to have to replace this one pretty soon. Actually, don't run, walk. I need your. Uh, I need you to be fresh. The general can sit further back in the woods to not take as much damage. 
Eric has suffered quite a lot of casualties. How is this one still? Canister should be going through that one like crazy. Alright, these guys are running straight in front of Kirkman's gunners. Turn your guns, damn you. We've lost a more crew. They're going to move some crew around. How many guns are still actually operating? Right now it seems like only one. And I don't even know if there was any shot coming out. Hold fire. Pick shot at the will then. That might help. Now we've got all four barrels. Right, they're going to focus in. Where are you going? Oh. Okay, you re I He really hated that guy. Okay, great. The main point of a unit like Kirkman's Gunners is of course that you can bloody well move them. We're gonna need aid on this side actually. I want to move you now and then twenty six grenadiers will take your place. Oh, they're gathering here now. Get the canister going, goddamn you. Why aren't these guns firing? Okay, you kind of are? I don't know what they are doing. Oh crap, my cavalry's been... They haven't been fired upon yet, but they could have very likely been fired upon. It's a huge amount of uh, bastards coming through the center. Maybe now I can get some good fire out of Kirkman's gunners. I don't know why they were uh, acting up earlier. It weird how that one guy ran out, killed one guy and then came back. It's like when the goalkeeper uh, scores a goal. Right, everyone's kind of weak. So the cavalry on this side will now be moved in. Oh, they're firing on a gun that's been set up all the way out there. Okay, hurry up, Hussars. And... I'm not forgetting to actually tell you to leave. Hold fire, switch to round shot, focus in on the center. Light infantry in the center has actually worked here. Because the sides are pushed forward and so strong positions that um, a major push hasn't been made through the center. Shame about Kirkman's gunners, though. They, uh, for some reason, didn't really want to work today. I'm sure they still got pretty good amount of kills. But for some reason, they weren't just like really up there. All right, everyone hold fire. You can fire on something else. Oh shit, you have been firing into the back of the Fusiliers. Since there actually is an enemy now right ahead of us, we'll hold these two, but I'm thinking we're going to try and replace them. Oh, I forgot to change um Nay, you can leave. I need someone who can actually fight for me.
telling everyone here to hold fire while the Hussars go ahead and clean clean up the battlefield. He's going to order in the 5th Hussars here to deal with the enemy here. Oh, Kirkman's Gunners. The risk of friendly fire. Right, chase the Germans of the field. Let's combine the two hussars and break the enemy over there. Then you can hold fire and it seems like the reinforcements coming in there, but it's also gonna come in here if I figure that correctly. So I'm gonna start ordering troops. What do I get next? Ney's cavalry. Cavalry could be good, but at the same time, I do need... I do need infantry. The stars are stuck in a fight against the Germans. But just as I say that, they broke them. Wonderful, wonderful. Right. Any major units need to be broken up. I am, let's see, we've got one here. The 5th Cavalry, it's only got 34. So he's going to be ordered to leave. And then we still have the 11th and the 3rd Heavy. Is that up here? And must rest a while. It says that we've got four active guns, but that's not true. Right, as seemingly there's enemy reinforcements coming in there, I'm going to order this side back. I wonder, you'd imagine almost the town being uh, laid to waste with the amount of cannon shot coming in here, but I think for this mod, the houses and stuff has been boosted, so they're not as easily broken. I wonder if that goes for like the prop houses as well, and not, uh, more than just the uh, the houses that um, you can actually occupy. So we've got three units that's about to leave. Maybe I should uh, add the third dragoons as well. We've got time now to bring in reinforcements. Third dragoons, yeah, we'll we'll order them to leave as well, so we can bring in more fresh troops. We got plenty of troops in the back. We might also have to order back Kirkman's gunners. How many? of your guns are actually firing. If I order you to fire on that house, how many of your guns will fire? Two guns. Our men are running, He's running now. Oh, so, well, you know what I, I guess they knew already what I'm gonna, what, what I was, blah, 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 what I was gonna order them to. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna order Kirkman's gunners to leave as well. The thing is, this side is no longer that necessary because it seems like the only enemy reinforcements coming in that's coming in right here. So we're going to deal with that. I don't know, if Kirkman's gunners hadn't ordered that one guy or got that one guy to run out, probably would have uh, not ordered them to leave like that. Right, we're gonna draw the troops now. We're gonna see about fixing a new line over here. And preparing for an enemy that comes out through here. But again, there's gonna be quite a bit of walking be done by the enemy until they arrive, so I'd figure I'd spare you that.
Well, I did kind of forget to end or increase the timer to unlimited. And I also forgot that I am the one attacking, even though I've got the fort and stuff. Uh, which means, as the timer runs out, I lose. My plan is to, first and foremost, we're going to have this cavalry strike all the guns that they've deployed there. Then, with the rest of the cavalry, it's going to try and swing around and beat the enemy that way. Oh, they're, they're coming at us now. Which, I don't think I'm in a particularly good place. Um, I'm going to move the gun here. I'm going to order my troops back to give room to give room for the cavalry to come around them and swing up and attack them that way and before I forget to actually order in the attack yet again I'm gonna have all the light cavalry Strike the enemy that is hiding in the corner. They are getting a fired upon, but it's from uh, extreme range, so it's probably not going to do any damage. Going to set the guns up. And then we're going to have Ney lead through the woods, followed by 27th Chasseur on the right. And I think this is the 6th Dragoons on the left. General staff is still fighting there. I'm no interest in fighting a musketeer head on. So we're gonna break off. Would have been nice to kill the general. He can't ask for everything. We did break. The oh, it's a Jaeger battalion coming in right after. Maybe that is a more Tempting target. I do want to break this guy before he shoots any more on me. They have a single unit here, which Ney and his cavalry should break before moving on to the big target, which is all the infantry that is moving over here. As more and more Prussians are coming in. I should have probably ordered the two guns, the Young Guard batteries, to withdraw as soon as they entered because, well, they're not going to be uh, able to join this fight, are they? The Jaegers are about to open fire. It's causing a bit of casualties. Which is breaking the first regiment of Hussars. It's only 28 of them left. But at the same time, the uh, Russian Fusilier unit broke. And the um, Chasseurs will be able to go through them and destroy them. Oh shit. Ney is now riding straight into that Prussian unit. I didn't realize there was going to come so many more of them right out afterwards. Okay, the fighting has sort of started over there. We'll deploy the guns. Let's see, if the general wants to pursue, I'm going to order the cavalry to ride to here and then switch to their sidearms. And then shoot him down. Meanwhile, the Prussians are gathering tons of the forces right there. It should be, hopefully, pretty easy targets for those guns. The entire unit is dead. The first Hussars, then, completely destroyed, I imagine. They weren't able to get out, unfortunately. Deadly battle. There we go. The enemy general killed. Wonderful. 
Um, now it's about dealing with all of this. I have 15 minutes left. There's no way I'm going to be able to uh, destroy all of this in time. More of the light troops need to be brought into this fight. It's going to be a problem when all of these guys turn up. Um, let's try and get this fight going. As Actually, these will be moved to block these guys. And then we will hold the enemy with what we got here. And then we're building up for a massive cavalry charge to go in. Hopefully smash them. Gonna move, have to move pretty soon because the enemy is closing in. It's not ideal as well to fight all of these guys when they're in the woods. The live guard is uh, what we're gonna aim for. You know, you got targets right ahead of you, so you should probably focus on them instead. Right, they're firing on us. Let's move over the hill. And then have these three deal with that. Right, good. Also, yeah, I didn't mention Noah Culver is right here with the lights. Didn't mention him earlier when I was going through some of the um, members. Right. Aim for the guards. Right, hurry up. Get up here and stop. Try and stop them. Not enough of them are really in the fight. Right, now my troops here are fighting. Okay, you will go now. You will go here. They keep following. I'm gonna bring in the general to support. As the cavalry goes, I mean it's a worst case because it's uphill. Oh, they're coming straight at us here. They're going straight up into wooded area. Unfortunately, the um, the guard cavalry over there was completely run over. This uh, cavalry charge isn't going to work at all. Because we have no infantry to support the attack. But we're going to have to try anyways. Um, God damn it, they're uh, completely just bypassing the troops that were meant to stop them. Try to stop them at least. Okay, we we broke one unit, but the hussar here is gonna get absolutely crushed. He keeps saying that an entire unit is dead. There's no way. That's the third time he said that. So there's no way. I've lost three units down to the man. Right, counter charge then. I can see there's another Prussian unit breaking, but I think there's just too much. So we're gonna completely turn around. 
and go after the ones that are uh, have come after us. I do realize this. Oh, what are you doing all the way over here? Guess you broke under the pressure. I should be able to break these because the, now we've got the support of all that infantry. Alright, we uh, managed to force them away there. Oh, the guns were broken. Possibly through fire from the from the hill. All right. I've got two little troops that are too tired and um, they're simply spread too thin. There's ten minutes left. Um, reinforcements, guns stuff are nowhere near where it should be hopefully though I'd uh, I'd say that um, we were most likely able to do more damage on the enemy than they did to us during this battle, you should leave. And we should start to uh, try and pull back here and try and save as many people instead rather than um, try and inflict more damage. There's no way we will be able to uh, push through and uh, break them, but I'm hope we've killed more Prussians than uh, the Prussians have killed of us. Definitely took out a good amount of guns. The entire first attack Our was destroyed. Running, oh, who's running now? Oh, the artillery is running again. Grenadiers decide they're gonna leave through the enemy lines. The Leib Grenadiers are still there. But the Prussians are too disorganized to actually push hard enough on us. If I'd had infantry coming in sooner, and if I had it on actually unlimited time, I might be able to uh, make something of this battle. Didn't I order three? Ca uh, 27th decides to leave, which is just as well, I'd say. Actually, both of these should leave. Let's try not to lose the general here. Have been moved to the side. Right, so overall, I'd say that we, uh, we killed more of the enemy than they killed of us. Unfortunately, bad planning has uh, caused us not to be able to make a decisive victory here against the enemy. And we have to contend with the fact that we have killed more of them than they have of us. Really? Good fire being put down here by uh, the Imperial Guards, or the Imperial, um, well they are Imperial Guards, just not Old Guard. And the lights have been fighting throughout this. Right, as the um, Young Guard batteries are setting up, we should pull back towards them. And we will, of course, be getting uh, support fire from the wall as this 
goes along. I think we need to move this one here so we actually get all four guns firing. I wonder if these guys get points for the troops that they kill with the guns here. Because if that's the case, they could stand to actually gain quite a lot of points. I think I want to move one of these over to this side, potentially. Or if I just move one away. We'll have the larger one, which is uh, lesser. And then set up something like that. And that will... Where are you going? You took the worst route possible. No wonder units might have been completely destroyed in this. If they were gonna route straight through the, um, the enemy lines. There's a lot of pressures. I feel like if... These, this troop right here would have come against us. I'm pretty sure I would be able to break them still. With the justifier that is coming down here. Is that wall smoking? Or what's going on there? No. Um, they've got six minutes to make one assault on my current position. I don't think... They will be able to do that. Gilly Flowers and his cavalry has turned up. Fatigued, sir. Which, if I push him really hard, he could be able to at least smash through this musketeer unit. Focus in. Focus in on the two guard units. And smash them. Right, there's now it's five minutes. The sixth are fighting alone there, so I'll pull them back. And then should allow the eleventh and possibly even Noah to be able to join in and fire upon them. And meanwhile the Prussians advance into murderous cannon fire by the young guard batteries and fire from the uh, fort as well it's five minutes left of the day before it becomes too dark to continue the fighting as the Prussians make their final attempt here Reinforcements are coming up though, so even if, as it will be, that I will be forced to uh, abandon the attack, given that we have killed more Prussians than they have of us, I would say that um, it still uh, it still be pretty good. Uh, battle for us. I keep just coping <laughs> with the fact that uh, we won't be able to complete the battle. Or complete it with a um, satisfying victory here. I pushed uh, Gilly Flowers really hard to get into position to uh, be able to charge the uh, musketeers here which are taking a substantial amount of fire from the fort I'm thinking if I set up his cavalry on this side of the ridge not only will they be covered they will be covered from the fire of this unit but we even we broke a musketeer which wasn't even the target of the two batteries Fire on the units that are close to them, which are now about to uh, 
come into the fire of my units over here. Right. There's three minutes left. I mean, I lost more cavalry troopers due to friendly fire, even though I was riding straight on, straight on into line formation, I lost more troops to the fact that friendly cannons fired upon me. We could have, I probably could have gone away with completing that charge just as it was without losing a single trooper if it hadn't been for the fact that um, friendly, f the cannons up from the wall shot us down. Anyways, it's just two minutes ish left. Actually, focus in on that. Maybe you can fire up the side and get a lot of kills right at the very end here look even with that attack that came on ju just by all the fire that's come down upon them um, they've been routed you know what this target is probably better because there's more troops up there Let's see. It's one minute left. Until uh, fighting has to be suspended. Because the French have been called home by the mother for lunch. We'll just uh, imagine that it's uh, getting dark enough that uh, the Prussians have to suspend their attack on the fort. Or the major attack, anyways. Good uh, fire coming through here. Maybe I should actually aim for this guy. And bounce shots through there. One of these is, yeah, you can uh, go into light formation. But the Prussians going hard now, in the f five seconds left. And the Prussians walking into our fire instead. A glorious victory, sir. <laughs> soon to be yours. A glorious victory, soon! If I had just them more time. Instead, it's a valiant defeat. And uh, we're going to have to live with that.
Unfortunately, we were defeated in our attempt to break the siege. Um, however, as you can see, we deployed about 10,000 men in total against 13,000 Prussians. Even though our attempt was lost, we lost 1,400 men compared to 6,500 of the Prussian. I think we might actually be successful in breaking the siege because the army that is sieging will not have enough, have enough troops to continue the siege. Now there were a few, or the guy kept repeating that a few units were destroyed. I'm just going to go through here. Ah, Ney has lost a unit. I think then it was uh, the first Hussars that was caught in that fight and completely annihilated. But otherwise it seems like every other u all the other were just false claims. Uh, where the units actually survived. Now let's take a look at who killed what. We've got Fusilier Grenadier de la Garde. I think this might have been the one that, that charged. Or it could have been Napoleon Lesser. Or Eric. That was here. First of SARS. First of SARS is actually still around, supposedly, with 21 men. So it wasn't them. 500, almost 600 kills. The uh, 8 pound gun managed to get 400. We got uh, Hussars, uh, close to 400. Trillier, this guy is uh, either Eric or Lesser. I'm sure of it. Because the Trilliers, I think. Then we got Cavalry, Cavalry, Cavalry. I'm interested to see where. Here, Artillery, Cheval de Garde. This is Kirkman's Gunners. They lost four men. They killed 220. I think they could have done more. One thing that sort of is always problematic with the horse guns is that they so... It, like any kills and suddenly they're down to just three guns and so on. Um, and unfortunately, I mean, they got so brave that one of them just ran out there, ran through... A Prussian, and then ran back to the guns. Um, and seemingly, since they... Uh, let's see, where are they? There. They only ever lost four people, and those people, four people were lost before that guy, or before that he ran. So I'm pretty sure that guy survived. Like, he ran out from the guns, shoved his sword right through a guy, and then back over. I wonder what compelled him to do that. But, you know, you, if you roleplay about it, you know, the AI was weird where it sends away one cannon crew to do strange things. But if you roleplay about it, you're thinking about the actual situation down on the battlefield. And one of the ca cannon crew is like, fuck this. The cannon's not working and draws his sword. It just r runs across the battlefield, shoves the sword through a guy. And then he's realized, oh, wait, there's like... Almost 200 other Prussians standing around here. I better get back to my guns. A bit of clarity at the end there. Um, but yeah, unfortunately... The... Um, the attempt at relieving the siege... Was unsuccessful. Had we been successful, we would have seen a bigger rate of... Dead Prussians, because the units would have been... Destroyed in the route. But now we got all these smaller units still here. Uh, here's the fifth Hussars. What unit was lost then? Because it's one of Ney's units, and I think Ney had a lot of cavalry. So we got Sul is coming up, so he's going to be able to bring Hall's Marines, and hopefully we'll be able to put then. Auckland's Fusiliers into its first fight. Um, um, guy has not been able to get a fight as of yet. I'm pretty sure it was the first Fusiliers that would destroy, or first Hazars. Where did I recruit them? God knows. Oh, the with you as long as it is. Right, I will surely be able to throw these off in a in a second attempt at this. The replenishment rate is so high here that I think we'll be fully ready to come back into uh, 
um, the fight end for the next one. I'm hoping to focus then on a fight for Berlin instead. Or potentially dealing with the Danish up here. Although I feel like we need to capture territory rather than spend our time fighting against all these hordes. Um, don't think we'll be able to land any troops on Ireland. That's a trip that's at least three turns, I'd imagine, it would take for us to get to Ireland and maybe four then to actually land and properly attack it. But here we are. So, even though it was a defeat, we killed three times as many enemies for every one that we lost. Two enemies were taken down. So, our valiant defeat, I'll take that. And with that said, I will say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.